Uh, I'm getting ready to start a segment advice today, and uh, or actually day after tomorrow. But I want to get it designed today and see you know what I can come up with, and you know a way to design something. Uh, and it's just kind of a free form, you know, do whatever you want to do type uh, type thing. You just get down, you start sketching, figure out what you like, and then we calculate it all out and make sure that, you know, everything works out and you know what, what types of wood you have and uh, how much it's going to take of each different types of wood and all of that. And we're, we're going to go through all of that. So, uh, uh. I've been doing acrylics uh, the last couple of videos I've done and uh, got really good reviews on those and I use acrylic a lot uh, for pens and uh, bottle stoppers things like that but uh, but I also use it to accent pieces also and you may see in this video uh, or in this series that you know we may use some acrylic in it I'll show you how to do that. It's just acrylic inlay. It's uh, it's pretty simple, easy to do, but you can really get some dramatic effects on your uh, on your vases or your bowls or whatever. But anyway, let's uh, let's stop talking and get busy. All right, we're gonna start designing this vase, and then we're gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I do all my calculations for each ring. Okay, let's go. All right, well, to get started, I just got my chart here that, uh, that I'm gonna try to design my new vase with. And uh, this chart will, will allow me to design it and also figure out each and every ring that'll build, that'll build it up. So uh, some of the things that I use to uh, to do this with is uh, of course uh, a square. I use a combination square, and I've already drawn this out. And I'll go over these uh, columns here in a minute. I use a French curve, uh, which this one's all busted up and stuff now. I'm uh, I'm uh, working on actually I'm working on getting designed for another one, and I'm gonna cut it out on the X carve hopefully. I've kind of got a design in mind, and uh, I'm not going to measure anything right now. Uh, I'm just going to come up with something that I think kind of pleases my eye, and if I need to, I'll change it from then, from there. All right, so I'm going to start out right about here and just kind of sketch this thing down. I just want to, you know, just kind of sketch it down. Let's sort of see what, what we get here. Okay. I'm going to give it a little foot here. Uh, sort of like that. And then we're going to come up and around like so here. I really like this a lot. So I'm going to go in and kind of finalize the design more or less with this... Uh, With my French curve. Let's see how this works out right here. Okay, kind of like that. I'm just going to design this on out a, right down this way. Okay. Okay. Well, we've got our design. And like I say, all I did, I just sketched it out just freehand. And then I came back once I got a design I, I, that I liked. And I used the French curve here. To help me connect everything in tangents and all and, and basically smooth it out to the shape to the uh, basically the final shape that I want and of course you know I've gone around and I've done a little bit of changing 
things like that you know that's uh that's all part of the design process you know all right but we're going to get uh start talking about how to fit calculate your segments okay a couple things that you're going to need to do let me all right uh the way i've got this laid out uh, that's my title nine inch face this is my layer number and I, I start with number one at the bottom and go up one two three four all the way to the top this is your number of segments okay and they'll all be the same unless I change one of them I may do a different number for the feature ring uh, probably not but I may and then you have your cut angle right here okay now that is not 30 we'll talk about all of this in just a second okay <clears throat> now then your diameter the total diameter of that of that ring that the segment is on the segment thickness which is going to be the segment height right here then your segment length now when you when you look at segment length you're looking at I'm just gonna I'll draw it here all right uh, Basically, I'm just going to kind of draw a segment here. Sort of. Alright. Now, your segment length is from here to here. Okay. Segment length. Okay. That is your segment length. Okay. I guess you can see that. Alright. Once you cut it, that's your segment length. Okay, and then you have your total length, which is the segment length times the number of segments, and then uh, you have to take into account for your saw curve, and then you add three or four more inches for something to hold on to. This is going to tell you the total length of the board that you need to cut all these segments. And then you have your segment width, which is on this one it's an inch and seven eighths, and that is from here to here to cut out this whole segment all right so anyway let's get started okay I'm going to start with uh, layer number 11 right here okay I know it's uh, it's a 12 sided segment so I'm going to go ahead and put in 12 okay now uh, in order to calculate the, uh, the the cut angle first of all I have to start with 360 degrees Okay, I'll start with 360 degrees. Now that is a full circle. Well, I want to divide that circle by my number of segments, which is 12. Okay, and that gives me 30. Okay, now, if you look at our little segment that we drew here, let me, okay, this angle here, if you bring this down all the way, will be 30 degrees okay that angle will be 30 degrees if you bring it all the way on down okay however if you if you come straight off like your cuts will be made okay this angle is 15 and this is 15 Okay, so your cut angle is not 30 degrees. You divide that in half and that gives you 15. So our cut angle here, let me go back back up. Okay, so now I know that my cut angle is 15 degrees. All right now I need to figure my diameter. So I'm just gonna, I've got an eighth inch right here and an eighth inch right here. Okay, these are these are the the minimum cut here on this segment. This segment takes up that much space, so I need this. I need to give an eighth of an inch there, and give about an eighth of an inch there. Okay, so I'm going to measure for my diameter, and with this being my center line right here, right down the middle of the vase, I'm going to measure that out at three and a half inches. 
Okay, three and a half inches times two gives me seven inches. Okay. Now the thickness, the thickness of this segment is three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to put three quarters right here. And then I need to figure my segment length. Okay, I know that my diameter is seven inches. Okay. All right, now, so to figure that out, I will have to use, I'll have to find the circumference of this ring, okay? Let me draw this out so you can. All right, I need to find the circumference of this ring. Now, all right, in order to calculate my segment length, I need, I need to know the circumference first of all. And to do that, circumference equals 2 pi r. Okay? So, uh, pi being 3.14, and my radius being 3.5. Okay? So, 2 times 3.14 equals, alright, 6.28 times 3.5 equals, alright, 21.98. Alright, now that's, that's my length. Alright, so I'm going to write that here, 21.98. Alright, now for my segment length, I just simply divide, I, this is my circumference of the circle, okay, all the way around the circle. I need to find one twelfth of that. So, what I have to do is uh, divide that by, by the number of segments, which is 12. Divided by 12 equals 1.83. Okay, let me get my conversion thing back out here. Alright, 27.30 seconds is going to be my closest. Alright, so that's going to be 1 and 27.30 seconds. Okay, now, all right, I've got everything. Now I need to find out how long of a board do I need to cut all of these segments. Okay, I've already got my total length here of the board. That was my circumference. Okay, now I need to add, I need to compensate for the loss of my saw curve, which is going to be uh, an eighth of an inch is my curve. <clears throat> so... 8 times 12, okay, that's about an inch and a half, 1.5, okay, and then I'm going to add, say, 3 inches just to have something to hold on to for safety, 3 inches, okay, so, 21, tell you what, let's, I'm just going to round that up to 22, 22 times, or uh, plus, uh, 1.5, plus 3 equals 26.5 is my total length of the board that I need. Okay? So 26.5. There we go. Alright. Now, for my segment width, I just need to come over here and measure from this line to this line. Okay, right there. And I've got dead on an inch right there. Okay, so that's just one inch. So this segment's going to be one inch wide. Right there. Okay, alright. And that's how you just kind of manually calculate your rings. And really, you can go through them pretty quickly once you, uh, you kind of get the hang of it. And, uh... <clears throat> Uh, it's not near as slow as what I just did. All right, now, uh, I'm going to talk about another method that may help you.
on the next ring okay it may help a little bit um, let's see here you can download these little segment calculators uh, uh, I know they're Android apps the there may be some out for I for the iPhones or iPads also but these came straight from Google Play Store uh, the stave calculator which is here uh, if it'll come up okay you, you can calculate your staves uh, if you're doing that type of work okay uh, then you have a ring segment ring calculator and it comes up it explains you know its terminology here on how to figure out things and all you do is just input like your number of sides outside diameter final thickness decorative inlays and things like that okay but those two cost uh cost about four dollars a piece this one here segment calculator it's the little brown one with sc in it is a free app and all you need to know is your inner radius okay so we're going to look let me go ahead and mark this one here at an eighth of an inch on the inside i'm going to do this ring here about an eighth of an inch and I'll go about an eighth of an inch past that okay so I'm going to measure the inside diameter I'll go ahead and do this so you don't get confused draw that draw this okay now Okay, now, my inner radius, right here, is uh, three inches. Okay, so, so I just punch in right here, I just punch in three inches. Okay, now my outer radius is four and, I can't really see, nine sixteenths. Four and nine sixteenths. So, I'm going to look here on this, nine sixteenths. is oh lord boy i just cannot see 562.562 so i'll type in 3.962 3.962 all right number of segments 12 and then just hit calculate and it pops up all of your answers right here uh, cutting angle is 15 of course you know we calculated that a minute ago so cut angle is 15 your uh, segment length is 2.12 segment length is 2.12 segment width okay and if you look here they say the segment width is this here okay and that's true 1.06 okay the diameter of course you have to calculate that yourself now all right so 3.962 let's come out of this and go back to the calculator 3.962 times 2 will give me the diameter 7.92 7.92 okay actually I should go ahead and convert that 29.30 seconds 29.30 seconds for this one Twenty nine thirty seconds Right, that gives me my diameter now
Now I have to take my radius in order. Oh, my thick my thickness on this one is a half inch. One half inch. Okay. Now my total length. I need to I need to find a circum. Oh, wait a second. Same length. Okay. Yeah, I got that already. All right. So my total length will be two twelve because that's my segment length, right? So, 212, backspace, let's see, 2.12 times 12 equals 25.44. Okay, now I need to add for my saw curve, so I'll, I'll add 1.5 to that, plus, and then I'll add three more inches for uh to give me a, a grip on the board three equals 29 i'm just going to say 30 inches all right and that's how you can kind of use the uh, little segment calculators like i said uh you can find them at google play store and this one here the uh segment calculator here is is a free it's free the ring segment thing is like four dollars and the stave calculator is like four dollars all right so there you go that's how we're going to plan the rings all right well i hope you enjoyed that uh i hope you got something out of it <laughs> if you didn't enjoy it i at least hope you got something out of it uh that's kind of dry i mean it's you know it's figuring this stuff out but if you do your calculations correct, uh, I mean that's what that's your basis. That's where it all stems from. If your calculations aren't right, you can really mess these things up. Uh, you're looking at uh, twelve-piece segments. You know if if your if your segments are a sixteenth inch short, then Lord, uh, you're about three quarters of an inch off by the time you finish cutting all your segments. So, uh, you know, be careful. Be, uh, I generally don't go any more accurate than a 32nd of an inch because my eyeballs, even with my glasses, can't see, uh, barely can see uh, 30, the 32nd inch. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's that. And uh, my next video, we're gonna be cutting these out and getting started uh, forming our rings and getting them sanded and hopefully getting them all put together for the the finish on the last video and uh i guess i'll see you then all right y'all have a good day see you on down the road